Hey everyone, welcome back. Um, so what we're going to be looking at uh, now that we've done with uh, all the other stuff, and this is probably what everyone was wanting to get to, exaggeration. So just before we jump to um, the different types of exaggeration, now we saw that we have to exaggerate likeness. Okay, And in order to do that, what we had to do was um, uh, we had to figure out how to make a likeness before we could exaggerate it. So we've done that. Okay, so we know how to create a likeness of a of a, the average human being. And uh, those can also be used in portraiture uh, if you want. But those are just the general rules. And uh, but they cover, you know, what it takes to to draw likeness. Now, when uh, when exaggerating things, the th simple thing to remember is there's five different parts. Now, I'll show you a simplification of, of what we learned before of creating a likeness. So what you want to do is just draw an egg shape, okay? Have a line going straight down the middle. Then you have that, the widow's pick, right? The top of the, where the hair starts up there. And then just guess the three points. It really doesn't have to be exact, okay? Because when you're drawing caricatures, um, it's not all going to be exact. So you just do that, and uh, you have those two points there. You can put your ear in, okay? And then just guess the halfway line, which is going to be about there. And just have the eyes placed in there. So there we go. For me, I'm having it slant just a little bit inside, and that's what I normally do. Just as a, it's just a thing that I, I like. To, I like to do. And the eye, eyebrows go there. Okay. Then the nose. Remember that um, that shape we talked about, the di the diamond shape. So that's what what I'll draw in there, really quickly, and then we can just put that in for the nostrils. Put it like that. Remember how we looked at drawing the eyes? Okay. And there's a third there for the part in the lips. Let's give this person a little bit of a smile. Okay, and that's the bottom lip coming in right there. Then you have that shadow underneath. The bottom there, and remember the jawline turns there, so that's what we'll do. Bring this out here, turn it in just a little bit. Same thing on this side, come down just where it comes in there, so just turn it in just a little bit. Okay, so that's that's how, um, how to just estimate it. Now, with the hairline here, um, they know it has this shape. Okay, so look at, look at that shape, that's what I'm gonna do. Okay. Then it comes down this way, then it comes in towards the edge of the eyebrow there, then it comes back out, then you have your sideburn. So that's that's normally how it, what it looks like. Okay, so that's the simplification of um, creating like a normal kind of human face. Now the face is made up of um, of five diff five different shapes. You have your head which is one, you have your eyes, which is another, you have your nose, you have your mouth. One, two, three, four, and then you have your ears. Okay, that's a very bad representation, but uh, there we go. So those are the five shapes. You have your eyes, you have your nose, you have your mouth, you have your ears, and you have your head. So those, those are the five different shapes. So now what you wanna do is when it comes to exaggeration, those are the five different things that we uh, that we'll be looking for, and then we get, we will be exaggerating that. So here we go. So let's look at some different shapes that we might uh, come across. Okay, someone who probably has a maybe a triangular shaped head, just like that. Okay, and they have tiny eyes. There we go, and they have. Just see them, the nose is pretty close to the eyes and it's wide. There we go. And their mouth is close to the bottom. And it's not really big. Then they have big ears. 
Okay, so that's what that's the those are the things that we'll be looking out for. Uh, let's let's do another one. Someone who has a big top head. So the top of their head is big, but let's say for an example, they have wide uh, cheeks. The cheek area is wide. Okay. And they have a small bum chin. So let's put a bum chin in there. Just like that. Okay, and let's give this guy big eyes. Okay. And maybe like that and small nose that fits right there. Okay, and a big wide mouth to fit his uh, cheeks. And tiny ears. There we go. So those are the kind of things that we should be uh, looking out for. Okay, so those five different shapes. Let's do another one, maybe a skinny, someone with a skinny head. Okay. The eyes, just like that. They have a big long nose and small mouth. Okay, so, and the ears will have it coming all the way down there. Just like that long one. So those are the five shapes that we keep uh, keep an eye out for. So what we're going to do is uh, we're going to look at a few um, few actual pictures of people, and um, and we'll try and define, you know, try to look and and find the different head shape, the eye shape, and uh, yeah, those those five different shapes. We'll try and define that. So first of all, you want to find the head shape. Okay, find the shape of the head. Once you found the shape of the head, find the shape of the eyes, okay? Once you found the eyes, go find the nose. Once you've done that, then find the mouth. And last of all, uh, the ears. Okay, so head first, then the eyes, then the nose, then the mouth, then the ears. It doesn't have to be in the ex exact order, but it's just... Um, as long as you get it all, because you'll be looking for these things even before you put your pencil to your paper. So it doesn't matter where you start, but just to give you a kind of direction uh, to go in. Okay, so head, eyes, nose, mouth, and then the ears is last. Okay, so let's uh, go grab some photos and um, let's uh, have a look at them. Okay, hi everyone. So these are our victims for today. And so we'll be looking at uh, the different head shapes. We'll be... What we'll do is we'll lighten them a bit, okay, just so we can uh, do the first step, which is figure out the head shape. And uh, we'll go ahead and grab a, a nice red, okay. And then we'll just draw an outline, the shape of the head. Okay, so already here, you can kind of get an idea of what the shape of his head looks like. Okay, so we'll just hide that. So there you go. So you have that head shape. So how do you think you'd exaggerate this? Well, most of us would just go ahead and just, you know, since the jawline is thinner, we'll make it nice and thin. We'll make it a little bit shorter. And the width of the top of the head is big. So we'll go ahead and do that. So there we go. We have an exaggerated head shape for the top of the head. and for the whole shape of the head. So there we go. Wasn't that easy? So let's take a look at the second one. Let's draw an outline there. Okay, so this is just a basic um, outline. I'm not trying to copy exactly, just so we can get a kind of general look at the, uh, the person's head shape, okay? So it's not as square, it's actually a little bit rounder. How about there? Okay, let's have a look at that again. Yep, this one comes out just a little bit there. So if we if we were to look a little bit closer, let's actually look a little bit closer. Okay, so you can see that rounded um, edge there. Just there. Okay, and then her cheek actually comes in there, just like that. This one comes in like that.
and she has a big smile just like that so what we're gonna do is we're gonna exaggerate that so let's zoom out a little bit more okay so we'll give her that uh, that really quick basic shape and then we'll round it off soon okay and she has those big cheekbones there kind of like that and this one actually comes out a little bit okay now her chin isn't very small so we'll actually keep that kind of similar to what it is now you don't have to exaggerate everything because what happens is when you once you exaggerate one feature it affects the whole the whole thing okay so for her head shape that's that's what we'll we'll have for her okay now as i said you know if if you have um in relation to one another once you change something everything else looks different so if someone's eyes are like that and their nose is like that once you change the look of the eyes once you make it like really big the nose kind of looks it, this is about exactly the same but it looks a lot smaller because the eye is a lot bigger okay so that's what happens so you don't have to exaggerate everything um, if, if if it needs doing then go ahead and do it but if it doesn't then yeah when you once you change the other feature everything else is fine okay so let's look at this guy's head shape So he's got a very strong jaw, so that's what we'll do. We'll exaggerate that strong jaw. So we'll probably bring it out just a little bit like that. Have it come in, then we have that chin there, nice strong chin. And the top of the head, just like that. And there we go. So try to find those uh, that simplified shape, okay? Now for hers, she's got a the edge of a jaw is lower than a mouth so the bottom of her the bottom of her head is a little bit rounder okay so hers is almost an egg shape if you if you look at it like that so in order to exaggerate that we'll bring it like kind of straight down like that and then have her the bottom of her head kind of come out just a little bit like that and then come in and then don't give her much of a chin, just a little bit. Just round off the top of her head. Okay, so that's that's looking at that um, that head shape there. Okay, so let's uh, jump on to the next uh, thing to be looking out for. So once we once we've um, established that, we'll go back again. We'll look at it again. But what we're going to be looking at now is um, the landmarks on the face and uh, how we can how they can help us okay so let's uh, let's go really quickly we'll change this color to blue okay so let's l zoom in and look really quickly at this now look at the shape of his face here right now his jawline I'll, I'll mark out his jawline that's the turn in the jaw right there and this one is hardly noticeable here but everyone's um, face is symmetrical okay and that'll help uh, caricature people who do caricatures more than it does um, uh, portrait artists so so we have that so th that's one thing to be looking out for <clears throat> okay Another thing to be looking out for is um, where that um, where the where the eyebrow line and the ear line is. Okay, so we'll draw it back with the eyebrow there, and you'll notice the ear is sitting below it, almost to the top of the where the eyes are supposed to be. Okay, pretty close to it, and you'll notice the top of the head here is kind of big. Okay top of his head is, is, is pretty big and I think I just uh, yeah 
so the top of the head there is pretty big okay so let's go ahead and um, and draw okay so we'll take these five shapes right so we'll draw thin bottom big head on top okay just sketch that out so what we're looking at is just those five shapes and, and how they're coming together small jaw at the bottom then we'll put a center line down the middle just to kind of have you know just to show where that uh, where that line is coming down the middle there okay now the eyes well now when you're looking at the eyes is it halfway you know is that that's the top of the head so the, where the eyes are is that line let's change that color is that line actually so we want to ask ourselves is this line this top half equal to the bottom half okay so we'll actually move that down and we'll see yep so the eye is pretty much exactly in the middle okay so we'll go ahead and, and put the eyes pretty close to the middle there okay now his eyes look pretty small okay they might be close to average but they they look a little bit small so that's what we'll do we'll actually make the eye smaller just a little bit smaller not too much and his eye look at his eyebrows okay they come just to the edge of the eye his nose he has that kind of you know, really sharp uh, end to his nose there so what we're gonna do is we're gonna we're gonna put that in we're gonna exaggerate that one okay so let's put that hook in there his nose And his teeth here is about a third of the way, which is there. So that's the bottom of the nose, not where the bottom of the hook is. So that'll actually bring the lip closer to the nose. And his smile isn't too, isn't very big. Okay, so we don't need to exaggerate that. We'll keep it pretty close to being the same. Now, if you'll notice, you'll see the middle of his chin right there his chin actually kind of slants this way more okay his face does so what we're gonna do is we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and copy that so we'll have it slanted just a little bit that way just like that okay and his ears they, they kind of stick out a bit even though they're not big they do stick out so we'll actually go ahead and we'll stick that out we'll make it right about the same size but we'll exaggerate the fact that it sticks out <clears throat> just like that now with the hair it kind of looks like he has a big forehead <clears throat> so that's what we'll go ahead and do we'll kind of give him a big forehead And that's just to get the get the general shape of everything okay and so that's what you should be thinking about even before you draw it so when it comes time to draw you've already got the picture in your mind so when it comes down to putting the paper to a uh, pencil to paper it's not a problem and because his head is slanting this way a bit you'll see the shape of his neck there so that's what we'll do we'll actually bring it down because his jawline is skinnier than the thing we'll actually have it come in where the jawline is too okay so there we go so that's what you should be thinking about when you're doing these kind of drawings so let's go on to the next one okay which is uh, the lady and i'll draw it just a little bit smaller just so it can fit in actually let's do my just a tad bit there we go okay and so let's look at hers we'll change the color again Very quickly okay so the five different shapes so her her head is kind of you know that uh, oval type of shape and remember when we looked at it we saw that she had a very strong uh, cheekbone there 
Okay, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to give it that uh, strong cheekbone just there. See the eyes, see the relationship between the top of the eyebrows, the bottom of the nose, and the bottom of the chin. Okay, so they run about equal. Those are run about equal. But the thing is, her nose goes above. So the bottom of her nose, even though it, it'll be one third, okay? Let's just mark off thirds there. The bottom of her nose is there. The top of her nose, that bulb that we saw how to draw, is actually above it. It's like right there. And so that's how we can represent it. So she's got like a, kind of like a button nose. And it's skinny in the middle, just like that. So that's what we're gonna, what, what, how we represent it. So we'll have this nose that's like that. Her eyes, her eyes are kind of small, um, not too small. So we won't uh, exaggerate that too much. So that's that. That's her eyes. And it, check out that line. Remember from the, that line there. So if that's right, okay. So we'll go ahead and we'll put that in there. like that so that's done um, her teeth now you can see the shape of her mouth it kind of looks a lot larger than than the typical one so that's one thing we're gonna exaggerate okay so let's give her a and look at the shape of uh, her lip okay she doesn't smile like that the the shape of her smile is it goes up that way across and then down Okay, and look at the difference between the gum and the bottom of the teeth. Okay, she has quite a bit of gum there, so we'll put that out, just like that. And we'll stretch it out a bit because her mouth is a lot bigger, so we'll exaggerate that. And her teeth, the bottom of her teeth, we'll move that down. Now, once you're doing that, it will move um, the chin area and all that kind of stuff. Because as I said, you know, they're, they're, they're all uh, related to one another. So once you change one thing, everything else is going to change. And her lip isn't very, very, she doesn't have very fat lips, okay? So what we'll do is we'll just give her a thin, thin lip on the top there, not too thin, and one on the bottom there. And you notice her chin is not very close to the bottom of her lip, so we'll move this down a bit. Just like that. And so that's what uh, you should be thinking about uh, when you're drawing your caricatures, like even before you're drawing them. Okay, and then her hairline, her, her forehead isn't very big. Okay, so we'll go ahead and uh, kind of copy her hair. Her ears, you can't even see her ears. Let's give her that um, smile, which is pretty, she has this crease, okay. And she smiled. So go ahead, go ahead, and uh, yeah, be thinking about that when when you're drawing your caricature. Now this doesn't look anywhere close to what um, we're going to be drawing in the end, but uh, just to show you yeah, what you should be thinking about. Okay. So that's that. Okay, so let's jump on to the next one really quickly, and uh, we might uh, do this one as the last one. Okay, so now that uh, you're kind of getting the idea of what to be looking for, I'll go through it really quickly and just map out uh, the areas. Okay, so that's the head shape. Okay, we'll do that really quickly. Head shape. Okay, eye shape. Okay, no shape. Mouth shape. And the ears. And you'll notice the ears are below the eye line. and then you have your mustache. 
and his forehead is small. So those are the things that you just add on, but those five elements have already been placed in. So all you have to do is just add to it. And this one, really quickly. Okay, head shape first. See the very low jawline. Okay, eye shape. Shape of her eyes. No shape. Mouth, which is small. Okay, ears. Can't even see them. That's it. Okay, and then you just put the peripherals in, you put the hair and whatnot. And as you can see, it's kind of starting to look like a... She has a very, very strong jaw. And that's what we're going to be exaggerating in this one. And uh, eyes with the eyelashes. So she has those, those eyelashes. Okay, so that's how you see that uh, those different uh, head shapes. Now, because uh, you can't see the ear, that's what we we won't be worrying about that one in this one. But those are the things to be looking out for. Okay, so in the next one, we'll actually go through um, all four of these ones and we'll do caricatures of them, all four. And that way you can literally see exactly how I go about it, uh, creating that likeness. And um, I think you'll probably learn um, the most apart from uh, creating a likeness. Uh, but when it comes to caricaturing, you'll probably learn the most just by watching it and uh, me talking and going through it step by step. Okay, so I'll do an underdrawing and then after that I'll go over it in inks. And then um, I'll also do one where there'll be no underdrawing and just straight into inking. And you can see where we start and where we finish. Okay, so that'll come that so that all comes under exaggeration. So the next one is making a statement and how we can make statements. Uh, but um, for that one, as I said, it's more editorial. So there's going to be a lot of um, you'll need a lot more background information. And if you don't have that, then you won't be able to actually do much justice to um, to that last part. Uh, making a statement okay so i'll see you in the next video